Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. I appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule to stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is Friday, 28th of March, 2022. And this month is already over. Uh, crazy, crazy, crazy. Huh? Sometimes time just seems to fly. Uh, right now in Jacksonville, Florida, it is 56 degrees Fahrenheit, going on 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, humidity is kind of high, 71%. Steely, steely gray skies, it's overcast, just kind of yuck. 13 degrees Celsius. So, it's not bitter cold, but it's cold. What are you doing? Come on. All right, now you use your signal. Ugh. Not even a stop sign there. <laughs> They've got the right of way. Man. <coughs> oh. Excuse me. Oh, it's taking a while for this van to warm up. It's blowing. Blowing cold air, which is nice when it's hot out, not when it's cold out or chilly out. It's supposed to get really cold. Oh, they did a nice treatment around that tree. It's supposed to get really cold this weekend. So, like, down to freezing or below freezing, depending on where you are here in northeast Florida. So, Told my brother to come over and plug into my electric. Got a small electric heater he can use. Excuse me. If he doesn't have his own, I think he's got his own, but anyway. So, I talked, I don't know, a couple days ago. Whatever about realizing I've been battling depression and that it felt like it had lifted. Well, part of that is like not being, not really feeling creative, not like getting out there and doing anything. I watched a video from. Uh, Deeks at RelaxShack.com. Um, they do a lot of like tiny homes and like tiny tiny homes, and little structures in your backyard to like turn into a into a studio or just a, a nice relaxing spot to sit down, read a book or whatever. And uh, he does he he uses like you know, recycled pallets and roofing materials and stuff that he finds on the road and I mean I really enjoy that kind of stuff but he is also a graffiti type artist and he's got a really nice flow uh, I enjoy watching him on that aspect Let's see if I'm going to make this yes I can make this um, so anyway he got a he had a guy come in and buy all the pieces that he had set aside, and he does he does like this graffiti work on all kinds of found objects. <coughs> but anyway, the guy came in and bought every piece that he had he had already you know he had sitting around, and they commissioned him to come in and do an entire room at a bed and breakfast type. Uh, type place of where he lives in. I think it's Maine, Massachusetts, somewhere up there in the north, northeast. Anyway, I was watching that, and that's kind of what inspired the, the piece that I did last night. I don't usually do those scribbles, the graffiti, doodles. I mean, I do. I've, I've filled up entire pages with stuff. I just 
crazy doodles like that. It's not usually my style. Usually I take more time to draw something out, whether it's a, a car or a flower. Even just, you know, a, a palm tree or, or whatever. So. I don't know. It, it, it hit me last night. I pulled out the pulled out the canvas and my sharpies and just started going at it. Well, about three hours later, I pretty much finished filling up the piece. And uh, and filling out that whole canvas. So it felt good, even though. It's not my best work, I know that. But it felt good to actually be out there and, and, and doing something, looking at it and seeing something. By the same token, I went to sleep after I went to sleep. Last yeah, so night, I woke up at one point, I don't remember how long I'd been asleep or whatever, but. Um, and wrote a message to myself about a doodle that I want to do. I guess I saw it in my dream or whatever. And uh, a kind of a cryptic message to myself was like, uh, dude made out of boxes. So uh, once I saw that once I saw the saw the message, I kind of got an image back in my head. So probably working on that, but even like after I finished that one piece, I was watching uh, the dude at the Smuggler's Room, and he's a Star Wars type guy, he's wearing a shirt that had a, at first I thought it was the moon, then I realized it wasn't, it was the, whatever that big star, the big, the big planet star thing is in Star Wars that they go in and destroy. And it was a very basic rendition of that. I looked at it and thought, I kind of like that. So I didn't copy copy it, but I used a lot of the same um, it was, it's basically a circle inside of a circle and part of the back of the circle is all falling apart type thing. So I ended up, I drew all that out last night. And like I said, it's not, it's not a copy. It's just kind of using that as an inspiration. And then I colored all around it. And when I got done, I was like, dang, I wish I'd use a better canvas for this. <laughs> I actually done done it on a foam board, and I really like it, so, I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll redo it on, on a real canvas, that's a possibility, but, I was actually falling asleep trying to, I was, I was doodling on another piece, and like, not now. So that hasn't happened in ages. Uh, it feels good. And I knew, like, I, I, I liked that one piece. Like, really, really liked it. When I was, when I was working on it. And when I woke up this morning, and it was right there, I really, really liked it again. So, come on, dude, 45? Seriously? It's not even 45, I'm showing 45. Which means we're doing 35. Ah, we're on a highway! I can't get around this fool.
Yeah, I know. I talk to people a lot when I'm driving. I didn't realize it before. I do. But some people, I mean, come on. Nothing but a say. So, anyhow, I had told myself I wasn't going to really. Oh man, I was over here. Sorry about that. I told myself I really wasn't going to do a whole lot yesterday because I'd overdone it the day before moving furniture, but. I didn't do a lot, but I did a few things. So each little thing adds up. And like I said, I'm I'm not I'm not in that super depressed mode anymore or whatever it was. I guess I'm I'm kind of bipolar just like my brother and sister are. I have these really nice highs and I get these lows. I very seldom really get the lows though. Anyway, it's just like instead of just dropping something on the floor and being like, ah, I'll get it later and then not. You know, like I went and actually got my grabber and picked the stuff up last night. Of course, I ended up dropping like four or five things throughout the evening. Yeah, I keep my I keep my long reach picker upper thing fairly handy. So anyway, it's just it's just a change that you know, like I said, I I've noticed still not I'm still not like O C D about anything. Don't get me wrong. And I picked stuff up last night. I, I swept a little bit. I sorted through a few clothes. Just some, just some stuff like you know, while I was cooking, the, cooking the sandwich, I was cleaning up around the counter space a little bit. Um, and just, just little stuff like that. So, anyway. In a way, I hope this. I hope this continues. <sighs> At least until I'm done getting things organized or taken care of. So, uh, anyway, let me know what you think, folks. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is. All these comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around your social media. That'd be fantastic. If your loans are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. 335! Ooh. Give them a call. Let them think about them. Let them they love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. So I'll see y'all again. I hope you have a fandoculous day. Slot you, y'all. Ah. Bye-bye.